Hi there. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create a joiner, which is a photography collage. Now I've got here a folder with uh, 20 photos in it. So let's just show you what they look like. And I've taken photos off the student Holly. And you can see that I've deliberately cropped the photos because the idea behind the joiner is to join things up as the name suggests. So let's go ahead and start. All right, now I'll open up Photoshop and I will create a new file and let's make it A3. Now, if you don't know where A3 is, you can simply click on the print tab, view all presets and there is A3. And then you can decide whether you want tall or wide orientation. I would choose wide. You can also decide here whether you want a different color background. So I might just go for a nice creamy color just for now. Okay, let's click on create. So the first thing we have to do is bring those 20 photographs into this new A3 canvas. And the easiest way to do that is to press and drag and drag them directly onto the canvas. So I'm just gonna reduce the width of my window here, my Photoshop window. And then that means I can see my folder with all the photos. Now, the quickest way to select all the photos is to select the folder, then go Control A. And as you can see, it selects them all. The other way, of course, is to hold down the shift key and you click on the first or the last, and that way you can pick them up one by one, but that takes a bit longer. So control A, that's the best way. Now, as soon as you've selected them, you simply drag them across to the canvas. And when you let go, Photoshop is going to say, um, it's going to ask you to uh, press enter or return on a Mac and accept the photo. And what happens is it puts it into a new layer. You can see over here, every time I press enter, it's creating a new layer. So I'll just go ahead and tap enter 20 times. Almost there, beautiful. All right, now what it does, it actually inserts the images um, as smart objects. That's what they're called. These are, these are called smart layers. And I don't want that. I actually want them to be normal Photoshop layers. So the next step is to select all the layers. Once again, you can hold down the shift key and you can click on the first and the last and that will select them all. Uh, or the other way is to hold down the control key and then you can pick which layers you want. But I want the shift key because I want all 20. And then with all the layers selected, I will right click the selection and there it is. I want to rasterize these layers, which makes them into just normal Photoshop layers. There you go. So I'll just deselect the uh, layers now, and we move on to the next section. Right, let's just, um, actually, before we move on to the next section, one of the problems that we'll have is uh, these photos are six by four inches, and the canvas is A5, and clearly there's no way they will fit all on the A3 canvas. So what I should do is reduce them in size. So let me just uh, do that first. Let me select them all again. So to reduce all the photos, you have to select all the layers. And then you might remember something called Control T or Transform. Now it's called Free Transform here under the Edit menu, but the shortcut is Command or Control T. And you get this box. And now, of course, I can reduce them to fit. Okay, so I might just make them that big. And then press enter once again to accept the new size. So now I can deselect the layers. And we're ready to create our joiner. Now, the move tool is the main tool that you use. So as you can see, I can move one, but I can't move anything else. See how it just... You know, if I want to move another photo, I've got to click on the layer and then I can move it. Well, that's annoying. So the trick to moving the photo that you point to or the photo that you touch is to activate this thing at the top called auto select. So that works with the move tool. So if you have that ticked, it just means that anything you point to, Photoshop will let you grab. And the first thing you do with the joiner is move all 20 photos around the canvas so you can see what you're working with. How's that? All right, almost there. As I said, there's 20 photos. 
And the idea now is to decide which goes first. And I guess, you know, moving them into position. And you might decide, let's put the eyes in the middle and let's put this photo next to it. Now, of course, see how it's behind. See how that's sitting behind. If you want it in front, you have to move the layer up and down. Okay, so just remember that. You can't, there's no shortcut to say, I, I don't think there is. No, there isn't. So you have to actually physically press the layer and move it up and then it sits on top. And the same with this. If you want this photo behind, you'd have to move it down the stack. Hope that makes sense. Now with a joiner, of course you can rotate um, a photo. So let's say for instance, you want to rotate this photo. You go Control T or Command T on a Mac and you just wait for those double headed arrows and then you can rotate it any way you want. Okay, the other thing that you, and then press enter when you finish. The other thing you may want to do, and I'll just pick on this photo here. Let's say there's, they're all looking similar, but you want to make one of the photos, maybe this one with the eyes, maybe you want to make that a different color, that's acceptable with this project. So you can go control U, that stands for hue and saturation. And of course this window comes up, and you can change the color. You can actually choose cyanotype, which makes it blue. And then if you move the slider, choose any color you want. You can even play around with saturation. So again, if I touch this one with the lips and go control U, let me just move that out the way, start with cyanotype, and let's just change that to, I don't know, Maybe that color there. Beautiful. So that, that's another way of um, just making it look a little bit more interesting. Now, I'm not going to do the whole joiner because that will take too long. But uh, just remember, you can rotate a photo, control T and rotate. And you can, of course, change the hue and saturation. You can even change the contrast. So if you pick on this photo here, for instance, and go control L, L for love, that brings up this window and that lets you, you know, really play around with contrast of the image. Yeah. So a combination of control L or levels and control U might result in some interesting special effects. Let's just try this again. Let's just go to, not that one, cyanotype. And let's really beef up the, uh, the saturation. So you might think, oh, that's interesting. So yeah, play around with it and see what you come up with. Um, I'm not gonna move the whole lot, but let's just say for argument's sake that this was your joiner. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly move them into some sort of configuration. So imagine you absolutely love this. This is fantastic con. And this is your joiner. Maybe that one, I'll just put it underneath. So I'm going to slide down the layer, drag it down to there. Yeah, put it there. And this one can go out here. Imagine that's your finished piece. Maybe the one at the end, the one that I'm going to click on now, if I rotate it that way, press enter. And maybe this one should go here at the bottom of the stack. So it goes behind the one with the hair. And I'll rotate it the other way, control T. Okay, once you've got all your photos into position, and let's say you'd absolutely love it, if you want to move the whole lot um, as one giant piece, you have to remember to select all the layers. Okay, that's the secret. Then, of course, it moves as one. And then you could play around with the background color, but that's essentially it. So I hope you have some fun with that. And um, we'll see you next time. Let me just get out of here. Um, if I can remember how to stop here and let's stop recording. Okay, bye-bye.